It sure looks like Meghan Markle loves to make enemies during her time on planet Earth. And in this episode, we're looking at Meghan Markle versus Victoria Beckham. up everyone it's me Steph the Alter Nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness we are already on episode three of my series Meghan Markle versus and yes in this episode we are looking at Megzy versus Victoria Beckham so here we go so it was recently reported uh, that Victoria Beckham could actually get the ultimate revenge on our Megzi as she launches her new business venture, American Orchard Riviera, right? Or American Riviera Orchard, whatever it's called these days. Uh, experts have warned, though, that this business could flop and flop hard. According to one brand expert, this would be the ultimate revenge for none other than Victoria Beckham. Now, this expert, her name is Denise Palmer Davies. Uh, she's the brand expert and director at Born Media. And yeah, Meg's business backfiring could be the ultimate revenge for Victoria Beckham. She explains that the market that Megs is trying to get into is a tough nut to crack, saying, quote, while this could potentially be a lucrative business long term, she should be under, under no illusion that she will get success overnight. Victoria Beckham and Gwyneth Paltrow have spent years and years building their businesses and perfecting their brands. It's a difficult market to crack. Even Victoria's had her obstacles as it is so saturated. And yes, it is extremely saturated. But why or why would she be turning around and saying that Megs's business backfiring would be the ultimate revenge for Victoria Beckham? Well, it looks like there has been a little bit of beef uh, between Megsy and Victoria Beckham. So we're going to go through that. Uh, in a moment. But this brand expert also says, I do wonder what Victoria might think of Meghan essentially tapping into her market. She might think there's enough room for them all and welcome the competition. But given their fallout, the skeptic in me wonders if she'd be secretly pleased if it did backfire. That would be the ultimate revenge, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, it absolutely would. Now, let's go back, okay, all the way back to around about 2013. And this is when Megzi first saw Victoria Beckham. And her ex-pal, Lizzie Cundy, uh, spoke to the mirror and said that she was with Megzi when she first saw Victoria Beckham at the Global Gift Gala in 2013, saying, quote, Megan is saying that Victoria leaked stories. We'll get onto that later on in this episode. The second time I saw Meghan, Victoria was at the event and I've never seen anyone squeal quite like it. Meghan was so thrilled and with excitement to see Victoria Beckham. She went, oh my God, that's Victoria Beckham. And you know what? I'll say this. If I saw Victoria Beckham, I probably would actually have the same reaction. But like, oh my goodness, that's Victoria Beckham. Like, come on, fashion designer extraordinaire. I'd be in awe as well, okay? I really, really would. Um, but, you know, from that chance meeting, they bonded uh, and they met up more and they developed a friendship. Back in 2017, uh, Megzi, it was announced, was now BFFs with Victoria Becker uh, after bonding over £600 facials. Um, and so, yeah, it was reported that uh, Megzi was growing close to Victoria Beckham since moving to London. Uh, Victoria Beckham, who lives in uh, London with David Beckham, uh, is said to have given at the time Megzi a real treat. All of her tips for the best salons in London. A source telling The Sun, quote, Megan has been really pleased with Victoria's beauty recommendations and has her to thank for meeting new friends in London. Uh, they've grown close and regularly text after Victoria told Megzi to visit Sarah Chapman, who bills herself London's most sought-after facialist. 
Megan trusts and appreciates her advice. She's even thinking about using Victoria's hairdresser over the Christmas period. And yeah, Sarah Chapman comes with like a £600 price tag when it comes to facials and apparently has a six-month waiting list, right? Now, uh, at the time, uh, things progressed, of course, between Megzi and Hazza and they got engaged. And Megzi picked uh, a piece from the Victoria Beckham collection uh, for one of the engagement pictures, which was hailed as a major coup for Victoria Beckham herself. Now, it's believed that Megzi, in the picture I'm going to show you in a moment, was wearing the cream cashmere sweater from a collection which is worth anywhere between five to seven hundred pounds. And this is the sweater in question, right? So, yes, even with the engagement, she was including Victoria Beckham. However, who oh, things took an absolute sour turn, guys. So back in around about 2018, uh, Megzi, uh, the sorry, biographer Tom Bauer claimed that Megzi feared that she would be upstaged by the Beckhams during her first royal tour to Australia, and she was irritated over David Beckham's friendship with Prince William. Oh yeah. So this is back in, like I said, 2018. The year Hazza and Megzi got married uh, and the row heightened when, yes, Hazza and Megzi snubbed the Beckhams during their visit to Sydney in October of that year. So the story goes that Hazza actually invited David Beckham to attend a competition for injured servicemen during the Invictus Games, but refused to interact with him at the event. And royal biographer Tom Bauer, writing for The Sun, claimed that Hazza kept his distance from David because Megzi did not want the competition in the media. He also alleges that she did not like David Beckham's friendship with Prince William. And Mr. Bauer also alleged that Megzi was frustrated that Victoria Beckham was reluctant to supply her with free clothes and accessories from a label despite the request being against palace rules. Now, Victoria Beckham kept her cool, right? And in 2019, was praising Megzi for keeping it cool to be kind. But, yeah, um, the whole cool to be kind situation really, really fell flat like a lead balloon. Because, yes, in 2020, it was then reported that Megzi love-bombed Victoria Beckham before turning on her over not giving her free dresses. Yes, Megzi thought... According to this report, that she was entitled to free clothes from Victoria Beckham. Victoria Beckham was like, hell no. An insider telling Heat, quote, Victoria has had more than enough involvement with Meghan. First, she was love-bombed by her via Harry, wanting to visit the store and always looking for tips on London and hanging out in the Cotswolds as they are neighbours there. Then things took a funny turn. Meghan made overtures about wearing Victoria's clothes, but she doesn't give them out for free. She's happy to give a discreet discount to anyone that she knows personally, but she doesn't give them out. That's her policy. That's when Megan turned on her, accusing her of selling stories on her with the real awkward call between Hazza and David. And remember a little bit earlier on in this episode where, you know, Tom Bo was turning around and saying Megzi was well furious and in my mind jealous uh, with David Beckham's close bond with Princess Catherine and Prince William. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This reared its head again last year. And yeah, David Beckham does have a close bond uh, with Princess Catherine and Prince William. Here he is at the last Euros. Here he is at the Earthshot Prize with them. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Beckhams are fighting back. They know where their bread is buttered. And that is on Team Princess Catherine and Prince William. Because yes, a couple of years back, Megzi and Hazza were not invited uh, to their eldest Brooklyn Beckham's wedding. Princess Catherine and Prince William, though, reportedly were invited. But, you know, they nicely, politely declined the invitation. And yeah, here we go. Victoria Beckham, last year it was reported, ended up just cutting ties completely with Megzi after a move that left David Beckham 
furious. And what was that? Well, a source revealed that David and Victoria have been distancing themselves from Harry and Meghan for quite some time. They've been worried about how the couple have been handling their public image since stepping down from the royal family. But it ultimately comes down to one sticking point for the Beckhams. Family loyalty. Victoria and David have spent years building their brand, but they've always made it clear that family comes first and they would never speak out about a feud so publicly. Ultimately, the way Meghan handled her issues with the royals is why Victoria felt she had to dump her. It wouldn't sit right with her to carry on that friendship. Also, as well, it was reported in the news that apparently Megzi accused David and Victoria Beckham of leaking stories about them, which le left David Beckham absolutely bloody furious. So there you have it, guys. A fairy tale start to a friendship that ends up in a freaking nightmare where even Victoria Beckham is like, do you know what? Bye-bye, Megzi. I'm done with you. I don't give out free clothes. Also as well, the way you are publicly feuding with the royal family, well, it's all about family loyalty to me and it looks like you don't have any. So uh, sayonara, Megzi. With that being said, if you appreciated this episode and you want more, believe me, the amount of enemies Megzi's racked up, oh, of course there's going to be more. Make sure you subscribe to join our alternate tribe. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Let me know who you want to see next in this versus series. And if you've got some very strong opinions about Megzi versus Victoria Beckham, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.